soybeans over the last few years, just about every farmer is paying attention to insects like soybean aphids, bean leaf beetles, grasshoppers, and spraying on a regular basis. We don't see as much insect spraying in corn, but today we're going to talk about why you may consider it this year on your farm. When you think about corn, a lot of times we're just concerned about weeds and fertility. Weeds and fertility. If we get those two pieces right, we're going to do okay. And I agree with you, those things are really important. However, we're seeing a resurgence of insects late season in corn. Many, many of those bugs could be controlled with BT products that we've got that where some farms are choosing to go conventional corn. Maybe you've done that on your farm or maybe you've gone away from smart stacks traits and he said, no, I'm not gonna pay for that. I'm just gonna go with above ground protection. And you think, well, I'm covered above ground, right? Not necessarily. If you had rootworm pressure, for example, you may start seeing those adult rootworm beetles out in your fields. So it's really important that you're scouting because even if you've stayed with some of the traits and you've stayed with your normal program, your neighbors haven't. And that's gonna mean more pressure for you. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna agree with Darren on this resurgence of all bugs, but I would say certain insects, yes, we're seeing more of them. Corn borers, for example. Back just a few years ago, almost everybody was using the traded products. So I believe we were having better mortality out there. We were killing more corn borers. Well, when people started going back to conventional corn, that's now meaning we are seeing more corn borers. So let's go back to 30 years ago, and here was our advice. We would always say, make sure you're scouting early for corn borers, about the time the corn is knee high, and then you're gonna take a look again a little later on in the season. So in the Midwestern United States, we usually have two generations of corn borers. So if you've got conventional corn, you don't have any trait out there to kill those corn borers, you may need to spray insecticide. The good news is insecticides are dirt cheap. You're gonna spend a couple bucks. Problem is, probably gonna have to call a plane in for the late application, so there goes maybe $8 an acre. But anyway, the point is, you gotta be scouting for these bugs, and you wanna catch them before those corn borers actually bore into the stalk. Once they've bored into the stalk, now you've got a real problem. You can't get in there to control that insect. I mentioned corn rootworm beetles just a minute ago, and when you think about that, they're not gonna bore into the stalk. They're gonna be on the outside of the plant, but what they will do is chew off silks. They will affect your plant above ground, and many people say, well, they aren't going to cause any problem. They're more of next year's problem as they lay eggs. Well, they, they are a problem for next year if they do lay eggs, but this year I've seen fields where they've clipped all the silks off the ears, or they've clipped enough of those silks off that, that you got poor pollination on ears. That's a substantial yield loss right now. And it's very, as Brian mentioned, inexpensive to control these bugs. So if you see rootworm beetles out in your field, that means you had some rootworm pressure feeding on your roots. You've already lost yield. Don't let them hit this crop for a second time. Wipe them out with a, a cheap pyrethroid insecticide. The key thing with almost all these insects is to spray early. Like the corn rootworm beetles, if you can get them early enough, well, then they haven't had a chance to mate and lay eggs for next year. So if you plant continuous corn, well, now you're going to have less rootworm pressure next year if you just get the adults this year before they get the chance to lay eggs. A couple other insects that I wanted to mention today, corn leaf aphids, and then it's not really an insect, but spider mites. Both of these can be problematic. A lot of people don't spray for them, but I would just tell you, as the corn price goes higher, and as you have good yield potential, well, there's more need to spray because you're hitting economic thresholds. In other words, you can justify treatment. If you're gonna go out and control these corn leaf aphids, usually you're gonna see them on the tassel. So be scouting right at tasseling time you're gonna to have to have a lot of aphids. It's probably gonna be 100 to maybe even 400 per plant, but if you do see those corn leaf aphids, you absolutely could spray. With spider mites, there's no real established threshold, but I would just say the most important leaf on the corn plant is the ear leaf. So if you start seeing a bunch of speckling on that ear leaf damage from spider mites, you probably should spray. Let's talk about the treatment options really quick here. If you've got spider mites in the upper Midwest, typically bifenthrin is gonna do a good job at a pretty low price, so that would be our recommendation, but that doesn't work everywhere. In some areas, we've got mites that are resistant to that, and you have to use one of the more expensive miticides. You've got Oberon and Zeal and just a number of different products that you could choose from. Hey, let's not forget about Lorsban. Lorsban does work in many areas as well, and that's pretty inexpensive too. And then the other thing is if you just have aphids or you just have corn rootworm beetles, you can get by with one of the cheaper pyrethroid type products. Uh, we like uh, the, the Lambda Psi type products. Uh, they do a nice job at a low price. 
Darren talked about these cheap pyrethroids. We're talking about two bucks an acre. That's all it costs. So I guess I would just again encourage you be scouting in your fields. If you see sometimes even lower levels of insects, you might have enough. Just check the economic thresholds, run the numbers for your farm, and consider spraying. One other thing you definitely want to consider spraying is our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.